President Trump leaned on auto executives today to build more cars in America. One killer of auto jobs has been automation. But Mark Strassman has found one plant where robots are creating jobs. Success rode into Manning, South Carolina on a bicycle built by two. Man and machine. Every 13 seconds, another one rolls off this assembly line. Typically, bicycle spokes are dropped into the hub one at a time by hand. This machine does it automatically in only about 30 seconds. Using the same amount of people, we can do about three times as many hubs in a day. This is the main assembly line. Arnold Kamler is the CEO of BCA, the Bicycle Corporation of America, his family's business since 1905. The company has a factory in China, but Kamler recently moved 10% of BCA's business back to the U.S. Why? Wages for Chinese workers had soared out of sight. Kamler bought this abandoned factory and created 140 jobs, a lifeline in this distressed industrial town. But the only way to make it work was investing in robotics. Uh, we're creating jobs with the automation and being able to be price competitive with China now and it will get even better in the future. Six million dollars of automation does the work of more than 100 workers. I would think a lot of people would look at that as a potential threat, like, okay, that robot over there one day is going to be over here. And we're not replacing other jobs with these robots and what we're doing is adding uh, equipment that makes us more efficient. Production manager Albertus Jones sees these machines as co-workers. A lot of people have the misconception that automation decreases job. It's just a different type job, a more skilled job. And without the automation, the business model doesn't work, so there aren't the jobs. That's right. A new model that could allow American manufacturing to ride high again. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Manning, South Carolina.